So, morning, nobody right now, nobody there. Uh, where are we going today? Yeah, we are going to Junib region. We will volunteer a little bit, help locals, and maybe eat some local food, who knows? I hope there will be some food because I'm, I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we will have a good uh, party. Yeah. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. After the volunteering, you need to party. But sharp, one o'clock. Then sleep. We sleep, okay. All right, so we're gonna get on this bus over here. Can you tell us where where are we? Uh, we are in uh, Sloboda. Uh huh. Uh, Just outside of Chernihiv, yeah. Chernihiv Oblast. Yes. Yeah. And what are we all doing here today? Uh, we gonna walk. Uh, we're gonna walk. I, 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 actually, I didn't know. Where we're... No, I mean, like, what are we doing this weekend? I yeah, mean? I mean, we like uh, deconstructing the the damages mm -hmm. or something like this actually uh, i don't know it's my first time so okay <laughs> mine too so it's all, it's all yeah, excited first time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay well awesome sure. welcome yeah we'll try all right guys so the plan is we have two days here in the city we're gonna be spending the night uh in these tents which is why everyone brought camping gear and uh it's actually a lot of people's first time including myself and i think it's because it got really popular after some journalists covered it calling it the repair rave something you might have seen We uh, came here and uh, wanted to support these people who um, who survived after uh, Russian occupation. Because uh, in Kiev uh, it was normal situation, but here it was really awful. And uh, people uh, left their ho homes and uh, the, the houses uh, were broken, a lot of houses ruined and uh, we wanted to, to help them rebuild, uh, fix these houses and uh, clean the territory. Techno parties, especially rave festivals, uh, it, it was our lifestyle before. And uh, it, when, when we meet with friends uh, and uh, spend time, like uh, last summer, it was uh, every weekend uh, festivals here. So uh, in, in Ukraine, I mean, in uh, Kiev. So uh, we miss it and we want to come back to normal life, but uh, our normal life is uh, now is volunteering. Can I ask you, uh, is it your first time? Maybe he is here to help as well. Uh, Hello. Oh, uh, when did you uh, rescue him? Uh, two years ago. Okay. And now he's like three and a half years. Okay. And, and we take it when he one year. Okay. Yeah. Is he here to help as well? Uh, he, he will help yeah, us? Yeah. We work in kitchen. Together. Okay. You will help us? I'm good? Yeah. Okay. He likes sushi chef today. Oh. Nice. He tastes everything. <laughs> I'm sure he'll taste everything. <laughs> and he'll clean up as well. The floor, yeah, yeah. the food on the floor. Yeah. All right. It looks like we have a lot of new windows, actually, that we're going to be installing. Very cool. 
It's a lot. The windows were destroyed. That's cool. So I think the there's actually a couple different teams uh, here. The windows are gonna be a more professional building team, uh, while we are gonna do more of the grunt work. But I'm excited uh, for whatever it's gonna be. Actually, I guess we are going to be doing some uh, heavy work here with the glasses. Uh, so this is Oksana, one of the organizers. Uh, what are we going to be doing this weekend? Uh, we will clean uh, the building in this village, Sloboda, it's uh, Chernihiv region. Uh, we bring uh, 200 volunteers with us and uh, now we uh, uh, go to like uh, different teams mm -hmm. and uh, each team uh, will go to different buildings uh -huh. and uh, we'll uh, do cleaning. Okay, that's cool. So I know that like most of the people here are from Ukraine and we just donated like a very small amount, 250 grivna, which is only like 12 or you know dollars. But I noticed, you know, you guys bought a lot of equipment. You bought of like shovels and yeah, tools. Sure. Uh, is it even enough to cover this or how do you get the money uh, to cover the bigger things? Uh, yeah, every trip uh, we um, uh, collect uh, 300 dreamness from each volunteer it's uh, for the bus and for food and also we have donations uh, for from uh, ukrainians mm -hmm. and uh, this money is enough for this equipment uh, like uh, you see here yeah uh, for cleaning okay uh, but uh, to rebuild buildings uh, we don't have uh, enough money okay we'll try to uh, find you some more uh, yeah thank you so much <laughs> okay thank you so yeah, I was kind of surprised because it was a 350 grivna donation uh, from every person. And to be honest, like some of the you know younger Ukrainians, like even to them, like it's not like a ton of money, but it's still, you know, they still have to like, it, it's still money to them, you know? Uh, but I was really surprised with all these tools and everything because I know this stuff costs a lot of money. And maybe some of the windows are donated from the government or bought by the government, but definitely all these tools and everything cost money. So I'll... Uh, I'll link them below if you guys want to help out as well. So I think my team, Turquoise, best team, we're going to grab some shovels and some... Uh, I don't know what they're called. Baskets? Buckets? Beats, beats, beats. Dobre, dobre. Hello. Dobre dan. Dobre dan. <laughs> Uh, can you ask them something for me? Oh, hi! I know you. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, no? No, it's like a surprise, but it's the first time when volunteers come. Okay. Are, are they happy? To Nuzhna? We are Russian, so we are not Russian, so they, in this case they are happy. happy? Okay. They are happy? Okay. So we clear path for us. All right, so for this first site, uh, this was completely destroyed, as you can see. But we're going to try to uh, recover some whole bricks to reuse for reconstruction for uh, other buildings. So, let's get our hands dirty. Yeah, 
If you like any of the music in my video, please check out the links in the description below. <laughs> So while my team continues with the bricks, I'm gonna take a look to see what the rest of our team is doing. So it looks like this half is helping with the house. I think we're cleaning up from inside. Wow, this place is really badly damaged. Beats. I think this is a cleanup crew to try to restore some, some order. Really bad damage, but you can tell they're still living here. His part of a prosthetic leg. Got windows are all destroyed. Look at those guys. People are living here. Uh, can you tell me what we're doing on, on this side? On this side? Yes. What happened to their house? Um. This house was bombed by Russian troops, oh, wow. and we are uh, cleaning everything in this house. Uh -huh. And are they, is it their house? These yeah. babushkas? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. And uh, are they... Uh, oh. uh, are, can you ask them, are they still living here now, even though it's damaged? Sorry? Are they still living here, even though it's damaged? Uh, is this babushka very bad in... Ear and uh -huh. he can't uh, listen to you. Sorry. Okay. And uh, are you able to talk to them? No. No. Wow. Their the hearing is damaged. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Maybe because they are old. Yes. Something like that. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this babushka gave me uh, a pair. Uh, I felt bad taking it, but they, I'm sure she got it from uh, one of the trees here, so I'm sure she has a lot, and she's just very grateful that volunteers have come to help. So let me finish my pair and get back to work, guys. Looks like they got a little bit of music going on. There's no DJ this time, but definitely it's still uh, like a repair type rave. So back to work. It's like all you ever do is trap. Well, baby, I'm a trapper. Really think that it's all okay. cap. Then just go and check my stature. Don't forget about this and that. Niggas don't eat just because of my platter. I'm about to take this to the max, so stop calling me a rapper. It's like all you ever do is trap. Well, baby, I'm a trapper. If you really think that it's all okay. cap, then just go and check my stature. Don't forget about this and that. Niggas don't eat just because of my platter. I'm about to take this to the max, so stop calling me a rapper. So stop calling me a rapper. All, these... all right, guys, so we collected some brick and put some scrap. I'm gonna go check what the other team are doing. It's a territorial defense. It's cool. New window. <laughs> All right, looks like we have another one of the teams over here working. Also moving bricks. How are you guys doing? Uh, quite well. Yeah. We'll do some ruination in there. Oh, it's nice. All the wall. How's it going? Is it going good? It looks like we have some good teamwork going on on this side.
Oh, you found a, a, a coffee mug? Yes, that's nice. Uh, is it uh, your home or? This one? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what, uh, what happened here? Strike. Altery, I mean, uh, so the Russians uh, destroyed it. Uh, I, I suppose uh, some Russian forces were here, and uh, uh, but no, no one from uh, the local uh, citizens. Uh, they, they just uh, hidden, uh, were hidden somewhere, okay. and they uh, and Russians were here. Uh, mm -hmm. This. Yeah, I'm sorry. What happened here? It's, uh, yeah. Uh, what did she say? She said, <laughs> She said that like uh, even now because uh, like she had uh, a bad uh, like cannot to sleep well no. and, uh, and and yeah. so on because uh, like still these flashbacks from uh, yes. from the past uh, like mm. and, uh, okay. yeah, can, cannot uh, uh, calm down. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope uh, you can uh, sleep and relax. Okay. So we asked the grandma who lives in this house how she feels uh, now seeing uh, all these people come to volunteer and help. And she's saying that for the last you know, couple of months uh, she hasn't been able to sleep or relax even in her own house. Uh, so I'm hoping that you know, after we clean up some of this devastation uh, she can feel a little bit more at peace and not have to look at Russia's destruction uh, every single day. So hopefully some of these bricks that we're saving can help rebuild and some of the rubbish that we're taking away can clear her mind as well. All right, so we found where the bullies helping out. These guys have a little music blasting as well while they help clean up some of this mess. Look at those guys. Look at all this stuff everywhere. How is Violet team doing? Ice cream, little mini volunteers. I think they were happy. <laughs> uh, so, this is your second time now? Yeah, uh, me and my friends, this guy, this, this company, yeah, yeah, yeah. we uh, arrived here second time. Mm -hmm. Uh, first time was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember what village? Or what yeah, this is uh, not far away from here. Mm -hmm. I think five kilometers. Okay, I'll switch you to the uh, yeah. Ivankovo. Okay. Uh, this is some village. And what, what, you, what made you decide to come back again? Uh, I think next week, maybe uh, after next yeah. week. Yeah. But oh, so you really like it. Yeah. What, yeah. Why, why do you like to volunteer? Uh, yeah, because we work in every day at uh, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, okay. and on weekends we want to have a rest and uh, help. Okay. Uh, and you consider this having a rest? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> some kind of it. Yeah, yeah. So we help in some families who uh, who was damaged by the Russian. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, are you guys from this village? These kids? Um, they're they from that village? Okay. And they came to help? Huh? And they came to uh, also help? Yeah. That's nice. And they are also help us. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Alright, so now it's lunchtime. Take a little rest. Some people even take a little nap because they're tired. Let's see what they are cooking up. Oh. Beautiful.
We have the master chefs here preparing. We're doing the hard jobs. So we all have our bowls and we're lined up for the soup. Hello. <laughs> so now everyone's having a little break. Coming up with a soup and bread. <laughs> Alright guys, so after lunch, I decided to go to the other team, the building site, where these guys are actually starting the construction of the house. So they're going to try to rebuild this one. So here we are. I think these guys are creating some bricks or finding some bricks. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a good. You guys have the hardest job. I went to all the different uh, camps today. Uh, I went to many different uh, places uh, today to volunteer, mm -hmm. and you have the most difficult job. So thank you for for your Did work. You visit the front line. Uh, also not this one. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you know. But as far as the volunteers, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where are from? Uh, San Francisco, California. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I, I visit San Francisco only in GTA San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> to steal a car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's in the game, it's okay. <laughs> so, okay. I think what we're doing is we're trying to get rid of all this crap to make it a straight brick so they can build with it. We're cleaning those bricks and gather them right here. And then we will try to build a new house with those guys. And not forget to get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they can get some rest in their house. <laughs> Much harder than it looks. Maybe maybe you have a better tool. Yeah, it's very sticky. The worst thing is when you about to finish it, it just it breaks, breaks in the yeah. 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 So you have to be strong, but like not too uh, violent. <laughs> oh, good. This job is not for everyone. Yeah, you're right. But you're right, I'd rather do this than be on the front line. At least nobody's shooting at us. Yeah. Like, uh, why, why did you guys decide to come volunteer? I know it's even because it's our country and... Uh, yeah, we want to help. Yeah, uh, we, this is very important uh, to go. Uh, from my side, I, I'm really scared to go to the uh, front line, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I'm trying to help how I can, yeah. as much as I can. But actually, it's really good to uh, be honest and say, like, you know what, maybe I cannot go to the front line, but I can do something. You yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Only if everyone um, do their best, mm -hmm. and despite its uh, blood donation, volunteering, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. information That's sharing, important. Or like building like that. Yeah. On this situation, we can yeah. work. This, we can be in this war. Yeah. Uh, so you guys uh, are originally from Kharkiv. Yes. Yeah. How's the situation there? Oh, it's terrible because uh, Kharkiv is under attack every day. Yeah. yeah. yeah in the red zone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very dangerous. The war in Ukraine overnight, a deadly missile strike in the country's second city. Britt Clement is on the ground there in Ukraine for us. Good morning, Britt. 
Good morning, Amy. Yeah, Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, was bombarded by rockets overnight. Russian shells destroying a three-story apartment block and a dormitory, causing massive fires there. Now, I just spoke to a fireman who responded to yesterday's attacks. He said the destruction at the scene is among one of the worst he's ever dealt with. So and like for people who say like why put the money and time to be built if it's still under war and maybe it can get destroyed again uh, should just believe uh, we can say in ukrainian maybe more but yes please say in ukrainian yeah. Тому що, по-перше, треба з чогось починати. Це найголовніше. Спочатку треба вже починати треба, тому що ми віримо у перемогу, ми знаємо, що буде перемога. Тому ми вже зараз починаємо це робити. І з кожним днем все більше просто людей, які залишаються без домівок. І якщо це постійно відкладати, то не буде побачимо ніякого ініціацію. Треба починати як можна раніше. Yeah, and I guess that at least winter is coming, and those people, they just don't have where to live. Yes. The houses are destroyed, and at least for winter, we should help them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's good. Well, thank you guys for your hard work. Thank you, too. Yeah. I looked at a lot of TV, I always wanted to do it. I'm gonna pull this from the wall down now. Toshina. We really, we really gonna pull this whole wall down, really? Oh my god. This cannot be, this cannot be safe. This cannot be the safest way to do this, but that's what they end up doing. Oh my god. Oh This is the one of the rocks that destroyed the house. It's crazy, right? Look at this damage it did. How many people it takes to rebuild? It's fucking shit, huh? BM 21 grad. And why why did they shoot this house? Three shoots. But why they shoot this house? Ah. Don't know. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's so stupid. I was saying uh, it takes one uh, Russian soldier to destroy the house, but it takes uh, 50 people to rebuild it. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. It's one, one second to destroy it and one year to rebuild. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's house? Yes. Wow. <sighs> you have translate? No, I don't. That's okay. I don't need it. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, <we're in> <laughs>
Brat. Держим вас. We are strong. We are strong. Ukraine is strong. Ukraine Primoja. Putin Uhapa. Uhapa? What is Uhapa? Putin is killed. Putin kills. Yes, yes. Putin does? I hope. Harakiri. By what? Harakiri. Harakiri. It's Japan. Oh, the by sword. Yeah. Okay, I hope so. Good luck. Japan traditional. <laughs> so guys, now we are over at the camping spot where everyone after work is going to come yeah. have some dinner here that they're preparing and we're going to set up tents and actually stay here overnight. We have uh, in the garden, uh, so they give us and also they have honey, so we will use it for breakfast. Breakfast will be sweet. Uh, So we have beautiful dinner ready. Master Chef. So guys, I am uh, camping out here in Chinubi Gold Blast, away from everybody. Oh my god, I set up my tent. It's small, but it's, it's really easy, so I'm pretty happy with it. You guys are wondering why I saw my tent in a ditch. It's to block the sound because people like to drink uh, near the lake. I think I have a view anyways, but here I have this sand to block the sound. All right, this is where everyone else set up their tents. Privit, privit. Hey! <laughs> nice big tent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, time for go for a little swim. Guys, it is super chill in this water. It's nice and cool after a hard day work in the sun. So it's nice to take a little break and a little relax. <laughs> so after a long day of volunteering, the rest of the crew has finally arrived just in time. Dinner. So after a after a long day, it's time for dinner. Меня Бог в руку поцеловал. Так плохо после меня. What I don't understand. He said, "Oh, my English." Uh, translate. Что ты сказал? Да не я. Ему. Что вы говорите? Что же я говорил? А что ты говорил? Не знаю. Я так наливаю. Ничего, ничего, ничего. Best translator. Давай. Все, давай. To new friends, new friends and uh, talk. Нет, зачем мне там это? Давайте. Cheers. Cheers, cheers.
Будьмо. So these ladies are cooking up some beautiful food, but we are men. Мой мужчина, мой нужно мясо, 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 мой мужчина. Okay, so we are, so we need meat. So I bought some uh, sashimi, and he's a chef, so he's gonna cook it up. <laughs> So I think it's uh, our sashlik. It's just for you? It's, it's for us. You? It's for us now. <laughs> it looks beautiful. <laughs> Cooking up a storm. All right, so after dinner, we were just hanging out by the fire here. So big thank you to all of you guys for watching. Day two and part two is going to be coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Big thank you to Repair Together for organizing these tolokas, which are community events to help rebuild. And thank you to all the volunteers. If you want to help support them, you can make a donation. Uh, even ten dollars is going to provide, um, you know, food and transportation and, and tools for one volunteer. So if you can't come uh, in person, you can do it virtually. But yeah, this is a really cool event, so check them out in the description below.